Good morning, friends. I'm Mrs. McNaw from Edison Elementary, and I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast. And I'm having eggs for breakfast, and it made me think of a book that I love. The book is called Egg to Chicken, and it talks about the information that we need to know on how chickens come to be. And so, at first, let's just look at my egg that I'm having for breakfast this morning, okay? And then we'll get into the book. So here's my egg, and I should have opened it up and shown you. There's the eggs we get at the store. So here's an egg, and here's we're going to talk about the parts of the egg. So there's a part called a shell membrane that, do you see that little skin right there? Um, it looks kind of like skin. Um, that is the membrane of the egg, and it kind of protects protect it's a protecting layer and then we're going to go to the inside of the egg and I don't know if you can see this but inside of the egg there's like a little bubble I don't see that little bubble that air sac it's called an air cell and it is inside the egg to allow air to get into the chick inside or you know just air to get inside the egg and then there is the yolk, that's the yellow part, but the white part of the clear part of the egg is called the albumin. And that is the part that turns white when we cook it. And then I don't know if you can see this part of the egg, that's called the caleza. And the caleza, that's how it, what it looks like. Um, caleza actually holds the egg in the center of an egg shell as it's sitting inside the egg. So let's get to our book and the book is called Egg to Chicken. I cannot pronounce that author's name so I'm going to let you just look at it. That's the author Camilla De La and I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, so this is a book about going from an egg to a chicken. Now, the nice thing about informational text is there's many features that help us as readers. This says words in bold are explained in the glossary on page 22. So if you don't know what a word means, you can go back to the glossary and find the definition of it so you understand it better. Then we have the table of contents. And the, the table of contents, this table of contents, has the headings that are in the book and it tells what page I can find the information on. What is a chicken? Here's our first heading. A chicken is a type of bird. All birds have feathers, wings, and lay eggs. Feathers help birds fly and stay warm and dry. Flying takes a lot of energy, so birds need to eat often. Birds have mouths called beaks or bills, but no teeth. So a bird has a beak, but no teeth. Think about what you would not be able to eat if you didn't have teeth. Gulls spread their wings and feathery tails to fly. Most birds build nests to lay eggs, keeping their young safe and sheltered. Domestic chickens build their nests in boxes. Ostriches have wings, but they cannot fly. Ostriches are the world's largest bird. This is kind of an interesting fact. One ostrich egg weighs the same one egg weighs the same as 24 hen eggs. So one ostrich egg weighs the same as 24 of those hen's eggs. The story of a chicken. There are more chickens in the world than any other type of bird. A hen is a female chicken. A male chicken is called a rooster. A chick is called a baby chicken. Chicks begin their lives as eggs. The story of how an egg grows into an adult chicken is called a life cycle. A chicken goes through three stages. Egg, chick, adult chicken. 
Making a nest. Hens start laying eggs when they are around six months old. First, they need a nest to lay eggs in. Most birds build their nests in trees. They may use twigs, grass, or moss. Ospreys build huge nests of, of twigs in trees and on rooftops. And in Ashland County, boys and girls, we have both osprey nests and bald eagle nests. The smallest nests are built up by hummingbirds. Hens build their nests on the ground. They find somewhere dry and quiet and use straw or grass to make their nests. Hens build their nests in barns and hen houses where they are warm and safe. The eggs are laid. A hen usually lays one egg a day. These eggs will be fertilized and grow into chicks if a rooster is living with the hen. Roosters are bigger than hens and they crow loudly. Hens make a quieter cluck, cluck, clucking sound. The rooster also crows to tell other males to stay away. Roosters have large, longer tail feathers than hens. There's the rooster and there's the hen. The hen normally lays several eggs in her nest. A group of eggs is called a clutch. Hens can lay eggs every day. Brooding. When the hen has laid all her eggs in the nest, she sits on them and to keep them warm. This is called brooding and it is an important job. The hen has to sit on her clutch. If the eggs become cold, the chick inside stops growing. A brooding hen spreads her feathers over the eggs. A nesting box makes a safe, warm home for the hen and their eggs. The hen turns the eggs from time to time to keep them warm all over. Inside the egg. All bird eggs are protected by a hard shell inside. <clears throat> inside each fertilized egg, a tiny chick is growing. Inside the egg, the chick gets food from the yellow yolk and albumin. The albumin is a clear liquid that we call the white of the egg. It protects the chick and keeps it warm. Chicks need air to breathe and the larger end of the egg holds the air space. So there's the yolk, there's the albumin, there's the shell, and the chick. The eggs we eat have not yet been fertilized. They do not have chicks inside. Most chicken eggshells are brown, white, or cream. Chicken eggs are easy to cook and good to eat. The eggs hatch. After growing about three weeks, the young chicks are ready to break out of their eggs. This is called hatching. Each chick has a sharp point on their top beak called an egg tooth. Do you see that little beak? The chick uses the egg tooth to crack a hole in the shell. It ch chips a hole all around the shell and it uses its body to push the shell apart. Then it climbs out of the shell. The newly hatched chick cheeps loudly. It is tired and its feathers are wet. Once the feathers have dried, they become fluffy and soon all the chicks have hatched. Life as a chick. The hen looks after her newly hatched chicks. She keeps them warm under her wings. 
When they are just two weeks old, the chicks can leave the barn or hen house and explore outside. There's our newly hatched chicks staying close to their mother. Chicks and chickens like to scratch around in the dirt looking for tasty worms and bugs to eat. Chickens do not have teeth, so they cannot chew their food. They swallow it whole. Growing and changing. Chicks grow into adults in just a few months. Glossy feathers grow in place of soft, fluffy feathers. A hen that is less than one year old is a pullet. The chicks grow red, fleshy, combs on the top of their head. The combs help to keep them warm. Soon, the young hens will start to lay eggs. When the hen mates, a new life cycle begins. And there's the rooster's comb. It's larger than the hen's comb. The roosters have colorful feathers and grow larger combs than hens. And here is our glossary with our definitions, boys and girls. And then at the very end of this book, we have an index that tells us about the different things that we've learned about in this book. So if I was doing a report and I needed to find information about albumin, on page 14 and 22 is where I can find my information. So before I leave you boys and girls, the one thing I did want to show you is a site that you can go to. Uh, Rechenka's Eggs is a book of, by Patricia Polacco that is one of my favorites. And um, Reading Rainbow years ago did a whole um, show about it. And inside this video, you will see both Patricia Polacco, you will hear the book, which is wonderful, and you will also see chicks hatching. So that would be kind of fun if you have time to go to on YouTube. So with that, I'm going to go and make my eggs for breakfast. If you wanna try this with your eggs, first ask your parent and open up at eggs and see if you can find the parts of the egg. Now you've learned some great information about why those parts are important. But one, one thing I wanna tell you is make sure you wash your hands after you've touched the egg parts because there might be some germs in there. Have a wonderful day and make sure you're reading. Bye-bye.